In a room with 23 aquariums that's kept at 80 degrees, you would think that it would be really uncomfortable down here. Well, it's not, and I'm gonna tell you why. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo from Tozawa Tanks. Before we get into today's video, I do wanna thank one of my sponsors, and that is Fritz Aquatics. Fritz has a huge line of different aquarium products that they have available for the aquarium hobby, and I happen to use a lot of them from the salts to the water conditioners, uh, different uh, biological elements that I add to my aquariums, etc. And one of my favorite products that they have is the Fritz Complete. This is a product that I use to dechlorinate my aquariums, meaning that I use tap water when I'm adding water back to my tanks, and our tap water has chloramine. So I use a Fritz Complete, add it to my aquarium, and then I know that it is uh, non-toxic to my fish, and everything will live and be fine. I like to get the one from Aquarium Co-op because it comes with a pump head, and uh, you can get these at aquariumcoop.com. It comes with a pump head so that you can pump the uh, Fritz Complete right into the aquarium without having to measure it. Every squirt does 10 gallons, so it makes it very easy. So as I shared in the opening of the video, there are 23 aquariums in this room, and this room is right around 80 degrees all of the time. Now, why is it not uncomfortable? The reason why is I use a dehumidifier. A dehumidifier is a device that basically takes and extracts water from the air. So there's a fan in the system. It draws air from the room, from the ambient room, into the uh, dehumidifier, and it, it basically extracts the H2O, the water, from the air and blows the pure air back out, keeping the water in a little reservoir in the dehumidifier. Now the reason why I use a dehumidifier is I keep a lot of tanks in a smaller enclosed space. Down here in this room with 23 crams, that's a lot of moisture. That means it's a lot of evaporation that is happening and the air would become very, very humid down here, uh, almost like a tropical situation if I didn't have a dehumidifier. That would be fine for the fish, but it wouldn't be good for the equipment, meaning you could have issues with the lighting, you could have issues with anything electrical in the room, you could have mold issues, mildew issues, and also breathing hazards by being in a room and breathing in those mold spores, mildew spores, etc. Now in the house, if you have a large home and if you have a couple of aquariums, that may not be necessary, but if you have a few aquariums in a bedroom or an office and you notice that it is a little bit humid in there, a little bit uncomfortable, the reason why is it's probably the evaporation from your aquariums that is evaporating into the air in the ambient air in your room and it is becoming humid so a dehumidifier might be beneficial to you. Now first let's talk about the cons of a dehumidifier. The number one con in my opinion is the cost. Not only do you have the cost of the dehumidifier which could be two or three hundred dollars depending on the brand and model that you purchase and the size of dehumidifier that you need but you also have the cost of energy meaning you have this device that you're plugging in to the wall it's drawing electricity, and depending on the cycle that you have it on, it could be running all the time, or every few hours, etc. So it is going to cost you more money to have that dehumidifier running. The other drawback of a dehumidifier would be that it could be a little bit noisy depending on a space that you're in. It is a fan that's blowing, so think about it Think about it like uh, when you have the heater running in your house, not the radiator type, but if you have like a HVAC system that's, that has a blower, you will hear that air being blown and there is a fan in the uh, dehumidifier. So you will have that fan noise. And again, depending on where that is uh, located in your home, that might be something that you don't enjoy. Now in my situation, and the reason why I'm not showing you my dehumidifier is that I have it tucked away in a back corner of this room, kind of around the bend over there. And it's behind a uh, one of these uh, acoustic blankets that we have hanging from the wall. So it's hidden away around the corner. And I do have all of these acoustic panels in here that sound deaden and so you don't hear that dehumidifier. A long time ago, if you guys remember my fish room from a few months ago, you, you may remember how loud it was down here and oftentimes the dehumidifier was even off and it was still very loud down here. And with that thing running, it was almost unbearable to try to film and talk down here. So um, now it's very quiet. I do have it tucked away, but noise can be an issue for some people. And a last con, which I actually think is a pro, but for some people it might be a con, is that the dehumidifier will omit heat, meaning that it will make the space warmer. Now, for a lot of people, that might be something that you don't want. You're trying to cool a room. You don't want it to be hot and humid. You want it to be cool and dry. So it might be where when you run that dehumidifier, it's making the room 
feel warmer because it is raising the temperature. Um, now there are some dehumidifiers that run cooler than others. There are also dehumidifiers that you can adjust as far as the percentage of humidity. So if you have it like at 50% humidity or 60% humidity, it won't be quite so bad as if you have it like at 35 where it's running and pumping out tons of heat. And then you could also do things like put in some duct work to have that uh, exhaust air blown out blown out of a window or blown out of a vent or into another room or something like that and you won't have to deal with that heat in that room now for me it is a blessing because i don't use heaters with 23 aquariums down here i don't want to have to plug in and set a heater in every one of these tanks and then pray that they don't break pray that they don't malfunction pray that they all work I just, I just don't have the ability to deal with that amount of chaos and something always goes wrong with heaters. And then also it's gonna be a cost associated with that where I'm having to plug in a bunch of heaters. I've gotta buy the heaters and uh, I don't even have enough outlets really for 23 heaters along with everything else. So by heating the room with my dehumidifier, this room is insulated. The entire heating is taken care of. So I could keep this room at a comfortable for me and the fish 80 degrees all the time so that my coolest tank is probably about 77 degrees and one that's furthest away and down low and then some of the warmer tanks are around 80 81 degrees so the dehumidifier for some people with the heat extraction may be an issue for me it's great because i use that heat to basically make my room more efficient and insulate the room and then heat all my tanks. Let's talk about some of the benefits of a dehumidifier. We just talked about one, in my opinion, the heat. Another one is breathing quality, air quality. So we talked about how a dehumidifier is going to reduce the moisture in the room and that will also help in eliminating the chances of you growing mold on pieces of furniture, on a carpet, on a wall, uh, you know, maybe some avoid having condensation on a window and having mildew or mold grow there. You don't want that. It can destroy items. It can be very harmful to breathe. It can stain furniture and stain your walls. So that is a big benefit of having a dehumidifier. And then the other benefit of having a dehumidifier is that it just makes things more comfortable. So uh, you always hear people talking about a dry heat, like, oh, we're in Las Vegas or Phoenix. Yeah, it's 110, but it's a dry heat. Or you could you know, talk to someone who's in Alabama or Mississippi or Florida, and it might be 90 degrees, but it might be 90% humidity, and you, they feel miserable because they're so like drenched in sweat. So by having a less humid environment, it can be easier to tolerate. You're not sweating as much. It's a little bit easier to breathe, and so it will make it feel more comfortable in that room. So if you have a room that's 72 degrees and very humid, but then you make it, let's say 73 degrees, but not so humid and dry, it's gonna be much more comfortable at that 73 and dry versus that 72 and humid. So that would be the big benefit of a dehumidifier as well. So that was it, I wanted to talk about that piece of equipment. A lot of people ask me about how I heat this room. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about uh, humidity issues and moisture and ma moisture management. So yeah, just get yourself a dehumidifier. Um, one of the things that could be a con that I didn't talk about earlier is having to drain the dehumidifier. So depending on how you have it set and how much moisture is in the air, you might have to drain that or empty that uh, the tub or the container, the basin in the dehumidifier once every two or three days. Um, I actually have mine plumbed so that it drains directly into the, uh, the drain for the sink. So if you do have um, a access to a drain nearby, um, each dehumidifier has a fitting where you can put a hose in, like a garden hose, and you can just plug in that garden hose into the dehumidifier and run that right to a drain or some kind of container with a pump and then pump the water out so that you're not having to empty and empty buckets of water all the time. So anyway, that is a uh, another thing that uh, I wanted to share with you guys because it could be, you know, an issue that you're dealing with, but um, that is how I take care of mine. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of your support. If you want to support me some more, there is a, a Patreon link down below, but also a great way to support me is just to go down below, click on the uh, website link and get yourself a Tozawa Tanks t-shirt. I will ship it out with a couple of Tozawa Tanks stickers as long as you are in the uh, US, I'll send you a t-shirt. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.